Welcome to Chemistry 1010. I'm really glad you signed up for a winter semester. I feel like this is going to be a super condensed, fast-paced course, but that it will be very manageable. I'm Dr. Hyatt, and I'm going to be working with you through this course. So since it is a winter semester course, that means we get about four weeks to do what typically is done in a whole semester, or sometimes in the summer in five weeks. So we're moving at a slightly faster pace, but I'm going to try and help you through it as best I can. So to begin with, this is your D2L shell, is what you're seeing on the screen. In it you can find all the information that you need in order to work through the, the contents of this course. Um, to begin with, there are two required resources for this course. You have to have either the access code for Mastering Chemistry or you could also theoretically complete all of the work using the 14-day free access period and you also need the Disappearing Spoon. That is a fun read, it's just a little bitty book that, I mean, compared to some, it's not compared to my children's books, but it's little compared to a lot of textbooks, okay? Um, so you're, that's just kind of a fun read. And so those two resources and this D2L shell are all you need in order to take this course. Um, I will discuss the lab contents in my Welcome to 1011 video, so you'll also want to make sure you look at that. So to begin with, this is the Getting Started tab. On this you can find a whole bunch of information such as um, my instructor information. Normally that's that has things such as my office hours, but since it's winter term I'm not holding office hours. Instead we'll talk about other ways to contact me. Mainly you need my email from there. If you send me an email through this, I typically don't see it very quickly. So make sure you email me at my Austin P email address, so that HyattL at APSU.edu. Email me there instead using your Austin P email account. Okay, secondly, you're going to want to pull up the syllabus and the itemized assignment list. So now the syllabus, oops, it looks like this. And basically, um, my information on there again, this, this is going to list the dates of the course, December 15th through January 13th, and then you keep scrolling, read through all the rest of it, it's got some good content, but you can read a lot faster than I can read it to you, so I'm going to expect you to read that on your own, but look particularly at this basis and method for grading. I think that's what a lot of students care about. So how are the exams made? What are the assignments? That kind of thing. So to begin with the exams, they are multiple choice exams and they cover the content that is covered in the in the videos and the um, the, the, the notes, so the, the notes that go along with the videos, they also cover the textbook. So there's a whole bunch of stuff it could be covered. I do really focus in on what is taught in the videos, so make sure you mainly focus in on understanding what is covered in the videos. And then go read your textbook, or you can read your textbook first and then watch the videos, whichever you prefer. Um, but the stuff I emphasize in the videos is the stuff that the majority of the questions on the exam are going to come from. But there will still be some questions that I don't cover in the video, but that are in the assigned reading for the exam. Now they are worth 250 points, but typically there's 30 points bonus built in. So what you'll see is you'll take the exam, it'll tell you a percentage, and then I have to go back in and manually adjust your score. So for instance, say you earned 250 points out of 280. It's going to tell you that you earned like a 90% or something like that, whatever 250 divided by 280 is. I will then go back into the computer later and I'll say, oh, you made 250 points, that's 250 out of 250, and that is your score for the course. So you'll notice they'll always get inflated after you take the course. Um, exam. There are five units, so there are five exams. Um, they're all worth the exact same amount. There's no cumulative final, um, but you just kind of want to make sure that you understand the course material before you take that exam. The exams are the largest points in the class, but still the homework and the other random assignments are still worth about 30%. So you'll want to make sure you do all those as well. So the homework, that's what you need the, the access code for and it's also how you access your textbook. So Mastering Chemistry has an e-textbook. On that textbook you can make notes, you can highlight, you can do all kinds of things with it. So take a look at your textbook, make sure you know how to access it. Um, and with that there are two separate grades. So there is a homework grade and then there's a post quiz grade. And those are going to be two distinct items. So the homework grade you're required to complete 200 points of that and there are a total of 358 points possible. So as long as you're maintaining around a 60-70% on the online homework, you're completing enough material to complete those 200 points by the end of the semester. 
So just work on getting it. Now, once you complete the 200, you can stop and then just move on, or you can just keep doing it if you're finding it's helpful to you. But I can't give you any extra credit for points earned above 200. Then post quizzes, those are different. They are not included in your 200 points. They are a completely separate grade. So the way I think this works is what I'd like you to do is do every assignment inside of each unit. And then right before you're ready to take the test, go take the post quiz. They're 20 points, so they're not a big deal. But you take them, see how you did. If you got a grade that you like, then you're ready for the exam and immediately just go take the exam. If you don't get a, a good grade, think about what you missed, study it, then take your exam. So it's sort of like a low risk pre-exam just to see if you have any questions that you can ask me and help you do a little better before you take the real thing. Okay, so let's go look at what that looks like. If we go back to our website, um, D2L, and we click on Mastering Chemistry, we can click on any of these tabs and we can get some helpful things. So the first one is registering for Mastering Chemistry. So this is a step-by-step -step YouTube video that's gonna allow you to see what it takes in order to register for the course. Click on access code to redeem an access code that you've already purchased. Or use your PayPal or credit card to purchase access. Or if you're waiting on financial aid, click the get temporary access without payment for 14 days. All right, so that's just gonna take you through and show you how it is that you're gonna register for online homework. Um, but once you've registered and you've figured out how to get into the course part of the of this the, the mastering chemistry part of this course, then you can come here and you'll see your assignments. So what you can see is I have made the due dates. So your class technically starts on the 15th. So I have made the due dates so that they're like around every week. Okay, I tried to miss the major holidays um, and not make the due dates then. But the class is over on the 13th. So that's the main de due date that I can't change. Okay, what I recommend doing is if you're taking the lecture and the lab, I recommend starting hardcore Saturday the 15th, as soon as the D2L shell is open, start working on this. Read through the textbook, watch all my videos, take the homework, do the homework, and just see if you can't get like the first couple units of the lecture material knocked out in these first couple weeks. That way, if you're using the access code, you might not end up having to pay for it, which I know we're always about saving money. But if not, you get 14 days. And I can't remember if that's 14 days business days, um, so you might have a little more time than you think. But I would start just working hard on your uh, mastering chemistry. That way you can get into your lecture. And then maybe once you get a little bit into lecture, then you can start doing these labs. And so there's gonna be due, different due dates for the labs. I'm pretty flexible with due dates, so just let me know, especially over the winter semester, if you know you're gonna be out of town or you know you're gonna be really busy with a family obligation, let me know and we can push them, we can extend them, we can rearrange them, however we need to do in order to help make it so that you're on task, you're getting things accomplished, but if you know you're going to be busy, you can rearrange and orient your time accordingly. Okay, so take a look at those due dates. These match up what's inside of D2L. Um, when you look at them, all these things, they say chapter 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 11, those are included in your 200 points. These post quizzes are those separate grades worth 20. Okay, so you would just click on it, take the quiz, take the whatever, just follow along and see what you've got. Okay, then back here, this is your e-text, so you just click on it, your textbook would open. Your units, all of your units, you'll notice they have the due date, the same due date that's in Mastering Chemistry, the same that are on your itemized assignment list, and your exams also. I put a due date on them just to remind you. That way hopefully it'll show up and you'll be like, oh, I need to take the exam. I really need you to take those exams. Don't forget them. I've had students just forget to take the exam before, and 250 points is a lot of your grade. Okay? At the beginning of every unit is an itemized list of what is due with that unit. It is also in your itemized assignment list, which I recommend you printing out from the Getting Started tab. This will list every assignment, how many points everything is worth within their categories. This isn't necessarily completion order, it's just here's the things you have to do this week, okay? If you even do it just, you know, every week, you're like, this is what I'm gonna do. You sit down, you accomplish it, you knock it out. Typically, a lot of this stuff can get accomplished in maybe every unit, maybe it'll take you 12 to 16 hours, okay? So we're talking about a large amount of time here, but you can do it, okay? So uh, look through here, let me know what you have any questions. 
Um, everything is kind of just broken up into little assignments or readings, that kind of thing. Now typically I have the disappearing spoon be due within the second unit that you're kind of reading it as you go. If you would like, you can finish all the lecture material, you can finish all the lab material, and then you can just sit down and read the disappearing spoon. And basically I'm going to have you write two essays over it. Write those two essays. You can either write the first one, I can give you feedback, then you can write the second one, and that's your final grade. However you want to do, have flexibility, but I'm making the final due date for those two essays be due with the last unit, which is due on the 13th. Okay. All right. So that is how all that works. Let me show you the videos that I've been talking about because the readings that all comes from Mastering Chemistry. We have these lecture notes that just kind of dig in a little bit more. If you want a little more information on things than what's in your textbook, um, these discussion boards, you just click on them, make a new forum type in your information. Some of them require you to post a link to a video. Some of it requires you to make little models of shapes of structures out of household objects and then post videos or pictures. Um, there's lots of little things. Let me know if you have questions about any of it. Um, but the thing I think that is helpful is my videos and I apologize for some of the microphone quality earlier on. I know it can be a little bit of a pain and I'm sorry for that. Um, planning on re-recording those like next fall. Not really going to help you though. Alright, so every unit has videos in it and they're all set up into a playlist. So you just go through. I recommend getting a pen and paper out, taking notes, pausing the video whenever you have questions, sending me an email, maybe go through um, and, and text one of your friends in the class or one of your peers and just make sure you know what's going on. Okay. Then if we go back here to content, I'm trying something new this winter semester. I know a lot of people use what's called GroupMe. It's a text messaging app. And what it means is I don't have to give you guys my cell phone number, but you guys can reach me with a little more, you know, a little quicker than what you might get me through email. Or alternatively, I can pull myself out of it and you guys can use the text messaging system to contact each other. And so that link is on thought there was one here. I think it's at the very bottom. Yeah, group me. So just click me on, click on group me. It's the messaging app that's going to tell you, give you a link and you'll just click on it and it'll let you join up. And it'll basically allow you to text everybody that signed up in our class simultaneously so you can help each other. Okay. Alternatively, there's also these semester long projects. I do want you guys to help each other because if you were in class face to face, you'll be able to say, hey, how'd you do on this assignment? Oh, I did blah, blah, blah. So you can talk and help each other. I want you guys to be able to communicate. So you can communicate on this messaging board or you can communicate through the GroupMe app. Now, valid questions are, hey, help me with this. I didn't understand this. This was the homework question. I don't get it. Don't talk about the exams on there, obviously, and don't just be like, hey, tell me the answers to these five questions. Try and actually figure out chemistry. I want you to learn it. I want you to like it. It's a lot of fun. Woohoo! Um, and then also on that, there's mistakes and videos for extra credits. If you ever find a mistake in a video, there are some. I haven't fixed them. I'll leave them in there. See if you can find them. Throw, them, throw me some a, a message. Whoever finds them first gets extra credit. Um, that post is entirely optional. Okay. So, just to summarize, Mastering Chemistry, you go to this tab in order to look at your e-text, and you also go here to do your online homework and also to con do your mastering, um, your post quiz or your, your post quiz assignments. And then you go through your units and you watch the video lectures, um, you do the discussion boards, and you take the exams. And then also, before you finish, make sure that you also write your two disappearing spoon essays, look at the rubric, make sure you know how you're going to be graded, look at the directions for those essays, make sure you submit those two, those two um, essays. And if you do that, I think you'll be successful in this course. Most people, if they do all the work, they're successful. So I wish you the best, and I want you to contact me if you have any questions.